Valem Lipatiliani in the white judogi, Ashley Gonzalez in blue. The gold medal here in the under 90 kilogram final here in Rio de Janeiro. Gonzalez is going to have to be wary of these powerful hips of the Georgian. And they come to grips. Cuban goes in for a bit of Sayanage. Got that right leg stretched out there, and it wasn't going to get far enough across, didn't he? So that just collapsed in the end. So you think it was a Taitoshi? Yeah, I think it was a Taitoshi attempt. He shapes differently for, um, for his Sayanage. He goes right between the legs, and he's close together. Um, I was almost thinking it was going to be a Seotoshi myself. Yeah, Seotoshi, that would probably be a better call. That's somewhere in the middle, right? Yeah. We've yet to see the opening gambit here by Seachstrom. I mean, he wants that um, right arm up and over the back. He's got a big Harai Makikomi, Uchi Makikomi as well. Gonzalez has got a little height on him. There, there he is. is. Yep. He, he was looking for that Makikomi. He really yeah. was. Broke it off quickly, didn't he, that, uh, Gonzalez? He now is a better entry by Gonzalez there, trying to throw him over the other shoulder. A la Iliitis. He lost to Gonzalez in the Grand Slam in Paris last year but he's beaten him on the other two occasions that they've fought. Picks up a passivity penalty here. Yeah, that was, that was the third or fourth attack for Gonzalez with no answer yet. Lipatiliani leading the series two to one. They've only ever fought in, well, they fought in the World Championships in, um, in Tokyo in 2010, where uh, Lipatiliani defeated Gonzalez. Another Sayanage. Yeah, this time off the left side. And tries to follow that up. And it looked like he tried to follow that up with a bit of a scoop there. It's a bit dangerous for Gonzalez. And that, that was, was the first turn yeah. in, really, for... Slightly untidy for Lipatiliano. Yeah. So you get to that stage He's where you know you need to make an attack and you just get a little bit too desperate, and then it's untidy. He looks cautious in this final. He looks tentative. I mean, I know he's trying to get his grip, you know, but he looks tentative. He's, he's got a... Again, going over, reaching over that Makikomi. Gonzalez goes in for a Sanagi. Now he's loaded up on the one side here. Oh, and that was a good move by Gonzalez there to, when he came out to try to get the leg. And then there's a counter there by the Georgian. So Lipatelliani is going to have to bite the bullet and make that Makikomi attack. He's bailed out of it a couple of times now, and it's his go to throw. He, he needs to get that in there and put out of the minds of, uh, of, of, of the referee, put out of the referee's mind that he's, ne he's been uh, negative. He's already picked up one penalty, he won't want to pick up another, and, and Gonzalez is making all the going here. That's right, that's right. Still no major score, but Gonzalez is just rolling in again and again with Serenagi attacks. Well, if, 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 if he attacks enough, yeah. Sooner or later, he's going to catch him. That's right. So Lipatiliani's got to put a stop to this, or else he's going to get penalized. 
See, I love when he comes up there and he hits that leg and then he tries to go on the other side. There's the second penalty. Gonzalez is doing all the positive judo up to this point. And now... Has to go. Now, basically, they lit a fire underneath his butt and he's, yeah, he's got to... Got to go again. Gonzalez is going to catch him with that Sernaga if he's not careful. He's so open now. Because like he, he has to get in there. And I'm not sure um, just how much he's got left in the tank. Gonzalez or? Lip, no, Lipatiliani. Yeah, I agree, I agree. You know, Gonzalez is like um, an Adonis, isn't he? He's in good shape. Yeah, he, he keeps attacking. Again, I'm looking for him to come in with the Sernaga and then get that second attack as he comes up. Okay, that was that poor. Was not, not so good. Yeah. We'll take a breather here with half a minute to go. And he'll take one drop. He's going to get nicked for that. Yeah. But this is it. He won't make another mistake now. He just needed eight seconds, ten seconds to catch his breath. Lipatiliani needs a score. Anything will take it for him now. You've got to throw everything at it, Lippy, or else it's gone. And now, as Nadze as well knows that that was it. 12 seconds, he got a lifeline there because um, Gonzalez wasn't interested Didn't in the near Waza. Here comes the Georgian on one last, one last bash at it. Sumigaishi from Gon Gonzalez to finish it up. And with four seconds to go, Lipatiliani's not going to get close to him. Ashley Gonzalez of Cuba is going to take this one. The Cuban follows up his Olympic silver medal with a world championship gold here in Rio. And at the least that can be said for Valam Lipatiliani is that... Um, He's put the, the, the Georgians in there with uh, a, a silver medal. And yeah, just tactically and whatever, he just never never got going in there in the final. A shame because he uh, had such a good match against uh, Denisov. Same thing, Gonzalez had a really good match against Iliadis and was able to put enough effort in, enough attacks to uh, get him through. Well, it's the second silver that the Georgians pick up, but the Cubans take the gold. Ashley Gonzalez takes it for them. And he leaves uh, a happy crowd. Here are some of the highlights. Thanks to um, Yoon Jinbum for that uh, information on uh, Lipatilian, Lipatiliani and Denisov. And yes, we did notice that uh, at last Lipatiliani has defeated his nemesis, Denisov. We come now to the awarding ceremony in the under 70 kilos.